Well, hi there, Internet. My name's Court. You've got courtside seats for my, what do I want to call this, my Toronto After Dark Film Festival short film review roundup. Let's do it. Welcome back to my ongoing coverage of the Toronto After Dark Film Festival. It's actually not ongoing, this is the last of it, but thanks to everyone who's checked out the other reviews so far. So in this video I'm going to be doing just quick little reviews of various shorts, both Canadian and international, that the festival had on display this year. And of course if you're interested in learning more about the festival I will leave a link to their website in the description. So let's start off with the Canadian short film Crawl Space from director slash puppeteer Andrew Ellenis and Sherwood Road Studios. This is a true short film clocking in at about six minutes. Our protagonist is working in his shed, he hears a noise from above him in the titular crawl space, and he ends up going toe to toe with a creature. I won't specify what kind, but it's definitely something that freaks me out in real life. I found it fun, I found it a little bit creepy, but what I loved the most about it was the practical effects and puppeteering. Sure, at times the creature looks a little bit wonky, but I always appreciate the assertion to capture something in camera rather than create it in post. And the fact that the director serves double duty as the puppeteer gets mad respect from me. They're moving on to a short film called Morbus, which is directed by Karim Banka and stars Benjamin Liddell and Nicole Ergetic. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I thought this movie was really fun. It involves a couple who are on a drive at night in the wilderness and they come across what looks like a pretty standard car wreck and then they go looking in the woods for survivors. It's tense, it's creepy, it's shot really well. And even at a short runtime, I really like the performances of Liddell and Ergetic. Further, the makeup and prosthetics game here is quite strong and I found this one to be really unnerving, really dug it. Next up is The Silent Lay Steady from writer, directors Travis Laidlaw and Katrina Elmsley. Now this one is a slow burn, I mean, for a short film, it's like 13, 14, 15 minutes, something like that. Not a huge amount happens during this thing, but it's really atmospheric, which I appreciated very much. And I really bought the 19th century aesthetic. It also helps that it was apparently filmed at Toronto's historic Black Creek Pioneer Village. Nice touch. Visually, it's pretty dark and occasionally it's pretty hard to see what's happening. But the score is quite chilling. I thought the sound design was excellent. Even though there's a moment in the climax where the audio use of Echo gets like a little bit much. Still, if you like slow burn horror and we're into say something like The Witch, this might just work for you. Now we move on to a film called Mashed Potato Face from writer-director Joseph Graham, and it's absolutely ridiculous, in the best possible way. Speaking of ridiculous, we're immediately introduced to a little girl who hates mashed potatoes. That's absurd. Who hates mashed potatoes? But then the family is set upon by Mashed Potato Face himself, who indeed has a face made of mashed potatoes, true to his moniker, and he forces them all to eat mashed potatoes. It's incredibly silly, the makeup and practical effects are like hilariously lo-fi. It's very cheesy, which is part of the movie's charm. I will say that it felt to me like it went on a little bit longer than it needed to, but I enjoyed the heck out of this thing. The Shiny New World is a Dutch film that is as bizarre as it is hilarious. What the hell was it? I have no idea, but I was thoroughly entertained the whole time. It's a comedy horror film that utilizes like a corporate training video as its premise or really it's setting, and it's for a company that cleans up locations after mutilations. But it doesn't stop there in the weird and ridiculous departments. I don't want to say too much because I'm super glad I went into this one completely cold, but it made me laugh quite a bit. The humor is incredibly light and silly for such a bizarre and grisly film, and the prosthetics are incredibly impressive. At first I wasn't even sure what I was looking at, and then it got even weirder, and I loved every second of it. And finally, Seek is an American short film from writer-director Aaron Morgan. It's a brief and creepy film that shows Two friends on a road trip when they have to stop because one of them has to pee in this little dilapidated roadside stop. She goes in and it's like filthy and disgusting. After hearing some creepy sounds, she exits the stall, finds a smartphone on the floor, and we go from there. I dug this thing. It's nice and short, it's about six minutes, and it's decently creepy. There's a moment where we see a legend scrolled in shock on the floor that genuinely gave me the heebie-jeebies. Further, this flick goes hard into the practical makeup effects, which I've already said in this video that I always dig. I'm not even sure if it was an actor in makeup or a full-on puppet, but I love that it was clearly captured in camera. It actually reminded me a little bit, not of the feature lights out, but the short film that precipitated it. Further, when the credits came up, imagine my surprise when I saw that it was co-written and co-produced by one Eric Vespi, who is the co-host of The King Cast, a Stephen King themed podcast that I'm a huge fan of. So that was cool. Well done, sir. So those are my thoughts on some of the short films out of Toronto After Dark Film Festival this year. And now I want to know, do any of these sound up your alley? Which ones are you most looking forward to? Whatever your thoughts, hit the comments below. Let's discuss. If you enjoyed this review, please smash that like button and give it a share if you really enjoyed it. it. Just helps the video reach more people, helps the channel grow, I appreciate it very much. And hey, why not take a second, do me a favor, click subscribe and ring that bell to subscribe to my channel for more movie reviews, entertainment news, trailer reactions, all that good stuff. Hope you guys are all safe and healthy. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.